Marvel Legends, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Cassie Langwave, Kang the Conqueror. Let's get it. What's good, my peeps? The Ruckus back at you again, continuing our action figure review in the series, and that series is the Cassie Lang Wave, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania from the Marvel Studios movie that was uh, recently, that still is out. The way they do things now, the movie will be out, it'll still be out, and then it'll go to digital streaming, and then you'll get the hard copy Blu-rays, 4Ks, and the movie dependent may still be out, which is just crazy to me, but you know, that's how it goes down. Anyway, this is what we got going on. You see it's King of the Conqueror from that film. You see the digital render there on the uh, on the front of the packaging with some artwork there behind. We've got on the right side of the packaging the sketch, the digital render of Cassie Lang, the builder figure, and the figures required to build her. Kang is number two in this uh, in this uh, line, in this segment, in order to be able to build Cassie Lang. There are seven figures in the wave. Ant-Man himself does not have a build a figure piece and comes packed two per case. The other side of the packaging, we get some more artwork of Kang. And the top, we get that logo Avengers while it's laced on what I believe is the housing for the pen particles or at least the costume and the rear we have another digital render of Kang the Conqueror on our left we have sketch of the build a figure pieces that come with Kang that being Cassie's head both heads the helmeted sculpt and the, uh, the regular face sculpt and then on our right, we have the accessories for Kang, just another set of hands. Taking a look at Kang, getting the 360 degree visual of the figure. I will tell you this, it uh, looks great, definitely. Aesthetically uh, speaking, it looks spectacular for sure. The back with the uh, the cape and it has the uh, the purple highlights there. The uh, green and purple, which is symbolic of Kang, and uh, those are his colors. Been been uh, Kang's colors for decades since the '60s, and uh, they have um, replicated that here for the uh, the movies and, of course, for the action figure. As far as the cape goes. Um, Kang, uh, there have been iterations of Kang where he has sported the cape in the comics. Uh, in fact, there was a uh, there was a storyline uh, several, several, several years ago. The Council of the Crosstown Kangs and the primary Kang of uh, that uh, storyline was wearing a cape. So that's basically where uh, Marvel Studios got their inspiration from. But it uh, looks pretty good here, translated here with this costume. It looks great. As you know, the MCU figures, they get... For the most part, all new sculpts, unique sculpts, and uh, usually they translate well, especially if they get the material, the source material in time, so that way it's accurate with the movie by the time the movie comes out. Now, in terms of the uh, the uh, the aesthetics, the uh, the look of the costume, like I said, I can't praise it enough for how good it looks, but there comes several caveats. Before we talk about those caveats, though, let's take a look at those head sculpts that come with Kang for Cassie Lang. This is of course the uh, helmetless head sculpt and in terms of looking like the actor that uh, portrays her, actress, actor, whatever you want to use these days, uh, I can see it. Not crazy, but I can definitely see it. At any rate, the uh, photo real text still is good because at the end of the day, the facial features look very realistic and not uh, comic book or cartoony so that's pretty nice then we have the helmeted head which looks great too and uh, continuing the trend you can see the eyes within the lenses so that's pretty cool and of course her lenses she's sporting that uh, the purple so definitely nice we'll set these aside until it's time to build Cassie 
as far as Kang's accessories, you already saw when you looked at the back, the rear of the packaging, he comes with an additional set of hands, grasping hands. That's about the size of it. No power blast, no nothing else. Now to get into Kang himself and talk about those caveats I spoke of. And that being that, I guess we can use the excuse that due to the, the nature of the design of Kang's costume, uniform, armor, whatever you want to call it, the uh, articulation in the upper torso is... Uh, lacking not necessarily the torso itself but the shoulders and the arms you see how he's got uh, his armor or this uh we'll call it the tunic that upper half draped over his shoulders well it's draped over his shoulders and it's really that overlay is part of the torso so you can only you can't really get any going out with the uh the shoulders so you can scratch that which means also you can scratch uh, getting uh, 360 rotation which is ridiculous now you do get the bicep rotation in there and you do have double jointed elbows that are pinless so we do get that right and uh, we get the uh, swiveling wrists and horizontal hinges for those wrists the head is uh, on a uh, dumbbell he can look up, I got him too far away, so you guys can see he can look up that far. He can look down, almost not at all, ridiculous. You do get a pivot, and of course you can 360 it. You have a diaphragm that's also on a dumbbell, so he can lean forward that much. He can lean back that much. He can go side to side, lean with it, rock with it, and of course he can 360 it. His skirt has slits in it, so that makes it a little bit easier for him to raise his leg up, but you're still not going to get that much. You'll get more going out, so that gives you an idea about uh, the hips as far as, uh, as uh, being able to do the splits are concerned. He does have the, uh, the thigh cut in there. He's got double jointed pinless knees he can point his toe forward that far up not too much at all he does have the pivot for the ankles and he does have holes peg holes at the bottom of his feet keeping the head sculpt real quick you can see it's uh, done very nicely you know uh, definitely uh, Kang inspiration of course comes from the comics and uh, same thing a helmet with a blue face They've, uh, in the comics, uh, went back and forth with whether or not that blue face is actually a part of the helmet. Uh, it, back in the day, it used to be thought that it was Kang's face itself until they revealed that it was not. It's like a mask, and overlay on the uh, helmet or whatever. And d just different type of iterations. Anyway, turning to the, uh, the sides there. Uh, in terms of uh, accuracy to the source material, it's really difficult to say because it is a mask. Uh, all I will say is that it does look good. Back it up some, I think we're uh, getting out of focus. So it does look good there. So that is what we have. Here we have both iterations of Kang that have been seen in the MCU so far. On our right, we have He Who Remains. And you can get the Jonathan Major's head or he who remains uh, on the Kang body but uh, take note it does it does sit high up there so you'll have to be uh, very creative and strategic with how you pose him. Giving you a close up so you can see what I'm saying uh, the head fits it does snap on the peg but look how high up on the neck it is but uh, like I said if you uh, work it right you'll come up with it looking decent and so you can see where the inspiration for the MCU version comes from. We've got the comic version of Kang, the Conqueror. So to sum it all up, we've got the three MCU figures for this Cassie Lang wave. Technically four if you include the builder figure Cassie Lang. And uh, the next four will be comic based figures. Uh, they're tied to uh, Hank Pym, the original Ant-Man, and uh, we will be uh, going through those too. As far as Kang the Conqueror, the figure here is concerned, as I stated prior, 
the aesthetic is fine the design it looks great but uh, very problematic you can uh, do only so much with the arms you see how I have Kang's right arm uh, I got it so that he's got his hand on his hip there that required me uh, really pulling the arm out and pushing the fist back so it can be resting there Tr uh, trust and believe there's pressure going up against that right thigh so um, it's really going to make uh, posing an issue to say the least and uh, it only comes with an additional set of hands no energy effects we clearly saw if you saw the movie spoiler uh, Kang blasting away with energy effects and we get nothing so um, yeah uh, very disappointed with this figure it looks great but as great as it looks it's it, it, it uh, leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to the articulation and the lack of accessories so uh, yeah that's Kang and uh, you know that's how it goes down